Hey guys, and welcome back to the Wizard 101 walkthrough series. This time around, we are finally going to be starting up in Celestia. As you guys remember, last time we finished Winter Tusk with that epic fight against um, Austri, Vestri, Sudri, and Nordri. That's the Coven controlled them, and the Coven got away once again. So, who knows? Maybe we'll see him again in the future. Maybe not. Only time will tell, but for now, the time being, we have to talk to Ambrose. Exciting news. Oh, exciting news indeed. Professor Bailstrom's efforts to enter the door to Celestia have met with success. Bailstrom has repaired Celestia's spiral key. Now we can go to that strange star-lost world and learn of its fate. Here you go. <laughs> For obvious reasons, you have more than earned this. All right. Mr. Ambrose hands you a spiral key carved with astronomic symbols. Oh, yes. There's a distress call from the Spiral Geographic Society trapped on Celestia. Do see if you can help them out. All righty, guys. Let us get going to Celestia. Finally, it's been a long time waiting and... I am just happy to finally be starting there because uh, Celestia is actually um, very, very, very fun in my opinion. Um, it's not, uh, I mean, some parts are just as hard as Winter Tusk, but not all the parts. Uh, but, um, I don't know. I guess we'll see when we get there. Today's episode may be a bit shorter just because I have some stuff that I have to go do today. So, yeah. So, here it is. The world of Celestia. Let's look up first. See anything cool? As you guys can see, we have our uh, little lobster mount here. It's probably one of my favorite mounts. Watch this. He can dance, too, for us. Yeah, dance, lobster, dance. But, yeah. Once in a while, let's see. Back here, you can get some shells. I know that because like um, a very good place to find shells. So, I guess we're talking to Edith. Oh, hello there. Did you get our distress call? Ah, uh, yes, we did. We found this place the long way by sailing our airship across the spiral in an attempt to reach ancient lost Celestia. Our airship is on the surface, and we've been building air-filled domes so we can explore the sunken ruins. Our leader is Sir Thurston Plunkett, but he's disappeared. He went missing even before the Crustaceans attacked. Interesting. Now, where, where, where was he at? So we can find him for him. Plunkett believes that if we restore the Grand Astrolabe, we can learn the Celestian schools of magic, stars, moon, and sun. The missing artifacts that power it are stored in the three astral galleries, the Stellarium, Lunarium, and Solarium. We had almost deciphered the inscriptions on the major portal when the crustaceans attacked. The ways into each of those places, though, are through the gateway portals, and the portal stones were broken apart and taken. If you're here to help us, you should really go speak to Dalton Prescott in the promenade. He'll know what needs doing. The promenade is connected via one of the access tunnels leading to the survey camp. Dalton should be easy to spot. Prescott is the acting lead of the expedition until we get Sir Plunkett back. Be careful. There are strange things afoot in this place. Alright, so we're going to talk to Prescott. This guy has actually talked to us one more than once. Let's see what he has. If I, since not please, I will happily reward you with some useful points for your training. If you get my drift. Hey, okay, yeah, we'll take that quest. I'll do that one later just because I guess a uh, training point, but we'll see. And she over here has... I'm miss. sure there are further okay, so Morgan didn't lay siege to Celestia for no reason, after all. So this is the first time we hear about Morgan. What is this? Where is it in here? And yes, I will be doing the troggles later. I, I, I was gonna do them today, but I don't have the time to do them today. So yeah, sun right here. So we're gonna actually train into strong. Uh close giant. Okay, so the, that's for now is the only ones that we can get, but the, there we go. We have some permanent ones. I also want to get amplitude just for the time being. 
Amplitude is a good uh, one. It puts up a bubble, and then you have Polymorph. Polymorph are good, but I'm not going to be training into them. I did before, but I don't want it. They're pretty fun. So, some fun stuff around here. You have some pets you can get. This is a brand new one, Ice Bats. Um, Ice Bat used to not be there here. This one used to not be here either. So, I think I'm going to pick up an Ice Bat, and we're going to name him... Lady... Sure, we'll name him. I don't want. I don't want to do that. I like. I don't like having first names, like name titles for them. I just like this. So we're gonna name her Daisy, and then I'm gonna get one more of these, and then we'll name him. Sure, we'll just go with this one. Cool. All right. So when those hatch, we'll see. But um, those are brand new pets, so I was just like, I just wanted to see them. What else is new? It's been a while since I've been to Celestia. So recipes. Blue teleporter, you can craft teleporters, stuff like that. Really cool. A bunch of cool Celestine artifacts if you want for your house, which I'll be getting later on whenever I start working on my house. And then furniture keeping. He already sells stuff. He has some pretty cool stuff. I really like the water, the hanging waterfall. Yeah, this one right here, they're really cool. Fish fountain. Yeah, some really cool stuff if you guys want. Um, yeah, that's that. Then, of course, we have the final dungeon is right here, but we won't be able to do this for quite some time. And here's Baxter with housing. Really cool house. I really want this house. Really amazing house, in my opinion. Might craft it later. Maybe not. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. But first things first. Where is the person? Yes, I know. I have this lore one that I didn't finish up because, um, well, just couldn't. Yeah, but we'll find it sooner or later. I think she gives the one for here. Yeah, there we go. The Zodiac. Yeah, we'll do that. All right. So, and there's the. Of course, we'll be taking his quest way, way later on before we go to any dungeons this time around, if I remember. Come on. Okay, that's not where we need to go. My bad. So where are we going? Well, let's just follow the arrow, I guess. Where are we going? Oh, this way. Yeah, that's right. I totally forgot. Treasure card vendor. This guy, I, is he new? No, he's not new. Oh, yeah, but we since we have these now, actually, we don't need these in our deck still. Because uh, we have monsters, so I want to use those up. And Amplitude, I will keep about three of them in my deck just because 15 extra damage, uh, percent damage. I'm not gonna complain about it. And here's Prescott. Let's talk to him and see what we can do to help. Hmm. I don't remember you among the crew roster. How did you get here? Ambrose sent us. What can we do to help, buddy? So much has gone wrong since we arrived. We no sooner made base camp and we met with technical difficulties, likely sabotage. Following that were thefts of equipment and stores. Then we lost members of our expedition, including our leader. To strange disappearances. Interesting. The most recent calamity was an assault by some of the indigenous species that have inhabited these ruins. It would be a great help if you could find the survivors of the attack. I have taken a role, and Edgar Ableton, Mackenzie Trowell, and Peter Cheswick are still missing. Let them know the attack is over and they can come back. All right, let's go let these guys know that they can finally come back. But look at this place. This place is so cool. I mean, look at that alien technology there. It's so awesome. All right, let's follow the arrow and actually get around because this place... Wrong way already. Okay. Great. There's a shell there, but I am not going to get that. There's really no point in me grabbing that shell. Just for the heck of it. Keep running into things. I'm not used to this crab after being on a wolf for so long, guys. The wolf was uh, pretty amazing to ride on. Yikes! Please don't hurt me. I hear hurt you, mate. We look like a uh, we are on a lobster. Sorry, we scared you. Oh, you don't look like one of those who attacked our camp. It's safe to go back, right? Very yeah. Well then. Is that it? Really? All right. So where to next? Edgar. Edgar, mate, where are you at? We need you. Come on, man. Snack vendor? You have any good snacks? You actually get a lot of really good snacks here. Like, um, what is, like, the sub? 
the Storm Submarine one. Uh, that one's really cool. Uh, really good, really good pet snack too. Um, in this world. Is it safe to go back to the promenade yet? I've been hiding here for a while now and am a bit cold and hungry. Yes, it's safe. Head back. Alright, so... Lobsters are what we're going to be fighting, even though we're on a giant lobster, guys. Our giant lobster, though, is uh, really cool and very, uh, very funny. We're going to name him... Uh, we're going to name him Jack. Jack the Lobster. I like it. So, there's these dudes walking around. Let's try not to run into them because we'll probably break. Oh, one of our pets hatched. Oh, really? Already? That was fast. That's pretty cool. All right. Well, that is the little. Oh, okay. Well, we just got pulled. Are you kidding me? I don't even the right have the right deck equipped. Well, this is great. And here's the battle music for Celeste. I love the battle music here. So good. All right. Let's pass and have them just just go. We'll hit them with the Deer Knight this upcoming turn and just finish them. Just won't take us too long. Um, one Deer Knight with the overtime should be enough to kill him. I hope. I don't see why it wouldn't be. I mean, they have way less health than anything we fought in Winter Tusk. Winter Tusk was a lot harder, in my opinion. Unlike this place. Deer Knight. Well, trees look, eh, they're okay, I guess. They're decent. They're not, like, the best or anything like that. I've seen better, that's for sure. Okay, so, yeah. The overtime should be enough to kill him. If not, we'll be able to use another Gear Knight in two turns. And definitely then, they will not be able to survive it. Okay. Um, they might actually die next turn. Yeah, they. I think they will. Yeah, we're not gonna have much trouble trouble in this world for intel bosses because this is where like cheating bosses got introduced. Yeah, and we won. Uh, got introduced. So yeah. Oh, and as you guys can see, I have my uh, Yeti pet equipped. That's by mistake. I did not mean to have him equipped. Well, let's get back a little bit and small pets really quickly back to our uh, horse favorite little pet, Lily. Another polar fox that I got. There is Lily. And where's this Barney? There he is. He's, he's a interesting little fella. Um, talents. Not very good talents. On the back. He has decent talents, not the best either. So cool pet though. Never seen this guy. Alright, this time we'll be we talking to the crates. Rescue at last. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, no problem, no problem. We're gonna grab this wooden chest. First wooden chest. Let's see. 142 gold. Already more than anything that we have gotten in Winter Tusk. Didn't we see this guy already? Uh, no, this guy. Oh, I didn't even know you could get this one. Awesome. I'm going to have to come back here and get both of these. Crab Cake Knight and Captain Cantaloupe. Both of these are mega pet snacks. That's awesome. Bit on the expensive side to craft, but still, that would be nice to have. Let's grab this health wisp. And I think that's all of the ones that we needed to talk. So, yeah. As I said, sorry if you guys can hear my phone. Uh, it's about the plans I had for today. Um, so let's talk. Tell them we rescued Wonderful everyone. Wonderful work. We're explorers, not adventurers, and the attack caught us off guard. It stands to reason you came here answering the distress call from Sir Thurston Plunkett. Yes. Yep. I'm afraid that Plunkett disappeared a while ago, just after we began to explore the ruined domes of Celestia. He left his notes with us, but they seem to have gone missing in the recent attack. Can you take a look-see and gather the missing journal pages? Uh, yeah, let's go do that really quickly. Pretty easy quest. Just 
collect a bunch of books or pages. Easy enough. As long as we don't get pulled, of course. Because that would not be fun. I would rather not be pulled. Lucky for us, they, there's a lot of them around on the sides. And I think the... No, the dude that we... Oh, okay, yeah, I remember where he is. So what you have to look for seek here are like these... Like lizards. They have a name, I can't remember, but they look like lizards, basically. And you have to collect them. They're really cool. I wish there was a pet of those. Like, that would be an amazing pet to have. You know, this shell is just taunting me. And we're gonna take it, so there we go. We got two shells. You get pearls from them, and I actually need pearls for some of my gear. And we are one level away from using any of the gear. Much obliged. You hold on to those pages in the event you find Plunkett. Okay. I've some bad news. Well, more of a spot of bother, really, but it needs to be addressed. The crustaceans broke the dome, and I'm struggling to find a means of repairing it. We kept a supply of sealant on hand, but they seem to have taken it. Can you go and see if you can recover the bottles of sealant from the crustacean pincers who took them from us? Four bottles will do it, I should think. All right, let's go get into a fight with these crustaceans again. As we guys, as you guys know, these crustaceans really have nothing in. Like, let me switch decks though. Really easy to take down, and I am actually going to toss some monsters into this deck. And I know what you guys are thinking. Actually, no, we're not going to do that. We want to save monsters for bosses. What am I thinking? We have this now. Oops, wrong deck. We'll just put five giants and five amplifies in. Why not? We can actually do some good damage still with this. I mean, it's not as much as the monsters, but. Giant comes right before monster, so we're pretty fine with this. And they're permanent, which is really, really nice. Look at this. Boom, powered him up already. So I like to see. Not as much, but still. But we can do this, though. Amplify will make up for the little damage that we're missing there. Amplify is, if you guys are like me, so I would totally recommend getting Amplify or Fortify or both. Um. And then there's one that gives you crit that you can get later on. It's Vengeful, I think, that is what it's called. But I'm not certain on that one. But I like it that we have a uh, dear nice looking power up now. Sooner or later, we're going to get Gargantuan permanently, but that one would be some Mario. So yeah, that one will take a bit of, a bit of time before we can get Gargantuan. So I think we can go up to no, Colossal here. I can't really remember anymore. It's been too long. Oops. Look at that damage. It's really good damage, too. Oh, that's like halfway done. Let's see how many things we can get. If we can get two, we'll fight them again. If we can only get if we only get like one or if we, get it, if we don't get any of them, I'll just have to end up... Uh, I'll get them off camera, and then next time we'll pick up the episode uh, with them already. We're actually doing a lot more damage than with just monsters. Amplify for those giants is really good. Really good combo that we have. Well, I'm not too worried about these guys. They're really no threat at all. I mean, I can use Wand. Wand hit him. Wand hit them really easily here. And I mean, why not? They're, like, super easy to deal with. But I do love Celestia. Like I said, favorite world of all time is Celestia. Then it's, well, it's a tie with the uh, Grizzle Pine Warriors. Wow, that actually took him out. I guess that pe little bit of pierce that we have is actually really good. We have quite decent gear, in my opinion. Let's see how many did we get. Alright, so we got one, guys. So I think, like I said, this episode is going to be a bit shorter. I'm going to call it here. I'll get the other three off camera, and next time we will pick up with all four... What was it? Sailing? Sailing? Bottles? Um, ready? So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this introduction to Celestia. We got a few things done, not much, but we got we got a giant, we got a fort, we got fortify, we got we looked around. Oh, we got an aquamarine. That's really good. Those are actually really expensive. Um, we got 
giant we got fortify yeah giant fortify or amplify really good i actually don't need these guys in here anymore um whoa there's thunder outside well that's one heck of a way to wrap it up and here's the guy that i told you about these are the lounging lizards that we have to get like don't, tell me guys that would be an awesome pet to have Yeah, hug him. That is going to be our thumbnail for this episode. I like that one. Alrighty. Well, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here, and I will see you guys next time for more uh, Celestia. Alrighty, but guys, see, uh, see you guys next time for something else. Bye, guys.